Welcome to another episode of Super Kids. Every time you come here, we do our best to prepare something special, and this week, something super special. You're here early. Yeah, I'm here early, Isaac. And you're dressed very nicely. That's right, I'm dressed especially different because today is a very different Super Kids today, okay? That's right. Now, normally we bring the best of Korea to the world, best of the world to Korea. We brought the best of the world to Korea, indeed, to our studio, kind of a United Nations. We have different cultures, different countries, and kind of a different situation, parents and kids together. That's right, and this is actually the first time that we had adults as contestants on our, you know, quiz show. So I think that's gonna be really interesting, and I'm gonna have a lot of fun today. Friendly battle coming up. So, without further ado, let's get to our first parent-kid combination. Let me introduce, <clears throat> from the Netherlands, Mr. Uh, Savigny, I'm sorry, Savigny, and Benjamin! <laughs> sorry, I'm not good at names. Could you say your name one more time, please? Savigny, it's a difficult name, I know that, okay. even in Holland. <laughs> and what's your difficult name? Benjamin. Benjamin, okay, not that tough. You guys are ready? <laughs> yes, we are. We go, together we are fighting! Excellent, have a seat! We're the Savanaya family. We're here for the Super Kids. Fighting! 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 Savine, okay. Yes. Very good. And our second team, representing Bangladesh, also from the embassy, Mr. Uh, Urshad. Welcome. With who? With his daughter, Ruchira. Excellent. Come on out. <laughs> Thank you. You guys excited? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Okay, and you're ready, obviously. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming, and please have a seat. Thank you. Yeah. Hello, I'm Said Nasir Eshad. I'm from Bangladesh. I'm very happy to be here. She's my daughter. Hi, I'm Rachira Nasir. And she's my wife. Hello, I'm Happy Eshad. I'm from Bangladesh also. We hope that this today it will be a fun competition and we will enjoy it thoroughly. Thank you. Okay, now we're going all the way to Pakistan now okay. and Mrs. Uh, Sajad. With her son Omar. Come on out, guys. Hi. Hi. Wow, you guys look very colorful. Oh. Yes, you look beautiful today. Thank you so much. <laughs> and are you ready? Yes. Ready for sure. the friendly battle. Friendly battle, let's get to it. First, come to your seats. Thank you. Hi, my name is Amri. Thank you so much for Irirang TV to invite us for the Super Kids program and we are really uh, happy and excited uh, for this program and we'll try our best. Hi, my name is Omar and I'm a red and black belt in Taekwondo and I'm happy to be here and I'm a bit nervous but I'll try my best to win and thank you. Now we go to Canada and Mr. Jeans with He's in London. Come on out. <laughs> okay, gotta ask, were you ever teased about your last name? Uh, yes, <laughs> I was, and I think he is too sometimes. Once in a while you get teased? Yep. It's a great last name. <laughs> That's awesome. You look like a great combination here. And are you ready? Yes. Fantastic. Have a seat. Thanks for coming. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, my name is Robert Jeans, and I'm from Canada. Tell them your name. My name is London Jeans. I'm from Canada too. And we're happy to be on Ari Rang TV today. Our um, cheer is Kimchi Power. Okay. Ready? Fighting. Fighting. Final team from the Philippines, Miss Patricia Han. And her daughter Yana. Come on out! You have a very popular name, Yana, because it's a very popular lady who's very good at skating. Uh, are you ready? You're excited? Yeah. Okay, how about mom? Yeah, of course. Excellent. Okay, let's do our best. Okay, have a seat. Right. <laughs> Hello, this is Patricia. She's my daughter, Yona. I hope we enjoy the show. Let's do our best. Fighting. We met five families, yes. five countries, five cultures, and it's going to be awesome today. Of course, a lot of warming up is necessary, and pretty soon they will be very warm. 
I'm so excited and I can't wait to start, but before we do, I just want to, you know, explain the rules of the game, okay. okay? Of Super Kids. Well, there's a total of three rounds. Three rounds. And the first round is called 60 Seconds, where your communication skills will highly be needed. Between the mom or dad and kid. Right. And yeah. then the second round will be Panic Attack. Don't panic. You know, there's no read to panic at all, um, but we are going to learn a lot about Korea, so that's going to be pretty exciting, okay? And then the last but not least is Fact, Fact Master. Master. And from Fact Master, yes, you will need all your general knowledge. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, there's no eliminations. That's what's cool. See you later, families. Get out of here. We don't have that. Everybody goes to the end, but the, well, the team with the most points is the winning team. That's right. Big prize, big show. Let's move to our first round. As Tommy mentioned, for 60 seconds, communication is very important. There will be 60 seconds, ergo the name of our round. And in that amount of time, the parents will explain to the kids, without saying the word, a word. If they say the word, they don't get the points. If the kids guess the word, of course, they do get 10 points. Maximum 100 points. And we'll see what happens, which team uh, goes with the most amount of points to the next round. And what are you holding? Oh, well, right now I'm holding a big glass contained with very colorful pieces of papers. Well, you know, since you explained the game so well, Isaac, I don't have to explain it myself. Well, all we have to do now before we start 60 seconds is find the sequence. Who's going to go first? So just be fair and square. Um, I'm going to let the kids choose whatever color that they want to choose, and then we'll see who will go first. Nice. Okay. Random choice. Now let's start with the Philippines. Go ahead and choose your favorite color. <laughs> The order has been chosen. You guys saw it. It's uh, totally random. And it looks like it is the team from uh, Bangladesh, Mr. Irshad and Ruchira. Are you guys ready? Yes. Yes. Okay, good luck to you. It's a fairy tale character, the girl who lost her shoes. Cinderella. It's a place where we kids go to read books. Library. Uh, it's a ins instrument with which you write or draw, paint. Pass. Uh, it's an instrument to use, make calls. Phone. Yes. Uh, it's an animal uh, in the uh, lives in the desert. Camel. It's a fruit, which uh, every day if you eat one, the, you, it keeps the doctor away. Apple. It's a Korean dress. Hamburg. Uh, it's uh, food uh, like noodles, which you like very much. Okay. First team, very good job. Six points. Of course, they got the tough ones like Hanbok. And also, uh, apple a day keeps the doctor away. I like that. I gotta eat more apples. Okay, we have another team. They're gonna come out out. It's the Jean team. Okay, Team Canada, you guys all set? Yep. Yes, we are. Do it. Uh, this is somebody uh, you go to see when you get sick. The doctor. And this is something you use if you make a mistake with a pencil. And you need to fix it. 
Uh, Eraser. Okay. Uh, and this is red, and you can eat it, and you can make it with a bacon and lettuce sandwich. Tomato. And uh, this is a kind of bird that lives in the water, and it, it flies, and we can see them when we go to the river. Ducks. Oh, this is a, a fairy tale uh, girl who uh, has like seven dwarfs for her friends. And, and she has an evil stepmother and... A pest. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Very good. Very good. That was actually Snow White eats the apple. Uh, didn't keep the doctor away. Actually brought another prince, helped her out later. Very good job, guys. You got a total of four points. Okay, let's have our next team. It's our team from the Netherlands. It's not easy. You've seen how it's done. First team did okay. Second team, not as well. Let's see if the trend continues or things change. Let's go. Okay, something you like to eat. Um, it rhymes with pig. Pest. Okay. Oh, uh, an animal who likes to jump. Rabbit. No, in Australia. Kangaroo. Yeah, right. And something to you draw lines on. Paper. No, uh, to make it straight. A ruler. Yeah, right. And the guy who arrests people. Police. Okay, and the, the place where you bring your mail? Mailbox. No. Uh, yes. Okay, and uh, something you like to go down of? In a, in a, in a, in a play yard? Yes. Okay, and something which is red and the rabbit likes to eat it and we like to eat it? Carrot. No, it's redder. Tomato. Uh, rather even. Okay. Good job. Good job. Very good job. That red, red thing is, uh, is called a strawberry. Excellent. I'd love to have some right now, but, uh, you know, we're just enjoying this so much. It's not time to eat. We're going to go to our next team. All right, team. Are you guys ready? Ready. Excellent. If you are ready then, here are 60 seconds. Something you watch all day. Uh, cartoons. TV. Yes. Something you go every day in the morning and come back at 4 o'clock. School. Something you like to cut with it. It's a uh, knife. It's like this. Scissor. Um, remember the story about three animals who build their houses? The three little pigs. Uh, it's something you play with, it's round. And Ball. It's something monkeys, they love to eat. Banana. Uh, it's something brown and you like to eat Play every dudes. day. Brown, brown, sweet. Brown in color. Brownie. Okay. Uh, your sister loves this character, this movie. Your sister loves this Rapunzel? character. Rapunzel? No, your sister loves this character, the movie. About the magician boy, the wizard. The wizard. Harry Potter? Okay, actually, very good. Yes. Was that Rapunzel? <laughs> Harry Potter, excellent, you got it. Actually, you're in the lead right now. Seven right, which means 70 points. Pakistan team, very good. All right, last but not least, it's our team from the Philippines. Are you guys set? Absolutely. Okay, let's go. Okay, where, where you go to, uh, uh, the place you go to ride, a, to take the airplane? Oh. It's in Incheon. The, before Airport. we take, okay. Uh, the one you like, which is uh, Italian food, it's round. It's round and we have it at uh, something school. 
we always eat it. It's so fresh. Okay. Uh, something you use when you are drawing? Pencil? Uh, no. Eraser. Use to color? Watercolor. Uh, no. Something? Crayon? Yeah, okay. Oh, uh, who drives the plane? The one who drives the plane. Airplane. The, the name of a person. The name of a person who drives the plane. Bus. Okay. Uh, 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 meow, what's that? Cat. <laughs> yeah. Good. Okay. Well, you guys got a total of 30 points. Not bad. We're going to all go to the next round. In the last round, the best team got 70 points. The team that uh, came in last, 30 points. But like I said, there are no eliminations. We're going to carry the points with us further and further, and more and more points are added. In this round, like the last round, there are 10 questions. They're not worth 10 points, they're worth 20 points. And of those 10, we have three that are just for kids. Just for kids. Now, normally in this round, we like to go to other countries. But today, very special, other countries have come here, so we're going to talk about here. Our country today is Korea. It's going to be really exciting. Right, Tommy? That's right. I'm really excited getting to know more about Korea. So at, once you hear the question, and as soon as you know the answer, just go ahead and press down your buzzer, and I will pass you the mic as soon, as quickly as possible. If everybody's ready, let's get to the first question for everybody. The fourth king of Joseon Dynasty. This person is the most respected person in the 5,000 years of Korean history. It looks like it's Team Canada. Okay. Uh, king Sejong. Yeah. Good job getting us started there. Also on the 10,000 won note, we're not giving money here. We're just giving uh, the giraffe things. Very good. Um, let's go to the second question. Korean cuisine offers variety and unique taste sensations which has made it very popular around the world. Every year, this dish is chosen as being the most popular in many surveys. Okay. All right. Kimchi? It looks like it's Pakistan. Kimchi? Going now to Bangladesh. Bibimbap. Bibimbap. Yeah. Okay. Very nice there. <clears throat> uh, he does work in the embassy. Very respected individual. Today, Shrek. Now let's go to our next question. You've probably all seen Admiral Yi Sun Shin's statue in Gwanghamun. He made ships shaped like this animal and... Just kids, just kids. Right, this one is for the kid. Just the kids. Kobukson. Uh, total, total. Yeah! Like I said, there are a few questions only for kids and that was one of them. The answer, turtle. The turtle ship. Fantastic, okay. Um, and I got to ask, is, do you have a favorite animal? Is it turtle or what is your favorite animal? It's a rabbit. The rabbit, when the turtle and the rabbit race though, the rabbit didn't win, but do you have a rabbit at home? Yes. Really? Yes. Just one or how many? One. Does a rabbit have a name? Yes. What is it? Hayangi. Uh, cool. White teal. All right. Well, very good job. 20 points for that team. And let's go to the next question. 
This is a house built according to traditional architectural methods. It's the Philippine team. Press the buzzer down. Let's get the mic to the Philippines. Is it Hanok? Hanok? Hanok! Yes! Of course, the Hanok has the Ondor system, heating system, so it's very, very warm in winter. It's nice sometimes, whole family sitting on the floor, you have the, uh, you know, the sweet potatoes and you're eating all together. Very, very nice. Okay, on the map and you have your headband, let's go to the next question. There are two major festive holidays in Korea. One is Seolnal, celebrated on the first day. Wow, that was fast. Chuseok. Chuseok. Yes, Chuseok. <laughs> Jusok, very, very popular and one of the big ones. That's right, Solal and Jusok. Wow, okay, so we have almost everybody with the headband. Let's go to this next question, only for kids. In 2014, Korea will host the Asian Games for the third time. The first time was in Seoul 1986. The second time was in Busan 2002. The third Asian Games in Korea will be held in a city known for its international airport. Okay, Philippines again. World Cup? No. Okay. Netherlands? Okay. Incheon? Incheon? Incheon! That's right. Okay. Uh, I don't think I've seen a double headband yet. So this uh, show is unique in many ways. So that's it for our spoken questions. Now we have a whole set of unique questions. Don't we, Dami? That's right. Today's a very special day on Super Kids. So I thought I might introduce some Korean traditional stuff, okay? So um, let me just start out with the first one. Okay, just this black one right here. Thank you. Okay, right here. As you can see, can everyone see this? It's right here. Wow. Um, well, it's called the kumju, okay? Kumju. But that's not, you know, what I wanted to know since I already know what it is. I want to know what the purpose of it is. Okay. Okay, we're going now to Pakistan. I think it's something to dry the chilies. Something to dry, to dry the, the chilies. Okay. Yes, outside in the sun. Ah, no, okay. Yes, sorry. Philippines. Yeah, it is a tradition in Korean. Once you gave birth to a boy, then it will hang on uh, near the door, for signing you gave a birth for a boy, a boy, child. A boy child. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You know, I'm learning a lot of stuff. I thought it was a jump rope. Uh, obviously, I was wrong. But can you tell us some more about it, Tommy? I see there's, there are peppers and also charcoal. Yes, yes, you're very observant of Isaac, just like I thought you would ask what the charcoal and the red peppers are about. Well, um, the red pepper and the charcoal are here to, you know, avoid evil spirits, you know, make sure that evil spirits don't come near them. And um, the red peppers, just like, you know, someone said, is like whenever a newborn baby, a boy is born, they put on red peppers. So, kumjur, um, I guess if someone saw that a baby was born, they would know not to enter if, let's say, they weren't clean, or they, if they were all ready and stuff, they could go in or, or something like that but originally prohibiting rope so people would not enter knowing that it was a house where a new kid was born. Excellent, I like this. What's our next uh, thing to show? Okay, so on to the next question. I'm gonna show you instead of explaining what it is, okay? All right, if I just take this drape. Thank you. Okay, um, I can't exactly carry it because it's very heavy, but if you just take a nice look at it, 
It's, um, it's called a metdor, okay? And obviously it's made out of stone. Okay, just got a good look at it. So I want, oh, okay. Uh, I would like to know what the purpose of this is, okay. Wow. Once again, the Philippines. Wow, so many yeah. beds. Yeah, this is used uh, during ancient time in Korea, which is to grind uh, the, the beans to make, uh, to make a, a bean curd. Okay, <laughs> is it enough? Also, uh, in other, uh, they also use that for grinding the corn and also to grind some rice. Oh, it's used for grinding Mostly they use that for grinding for beans to make a bean curd, which is a uh, uh, bean curd or tofu. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent job. Yes, it is used and uh, for grinding. That's the key. I thought, again, it was for a workout, you know, for pitchers before they pitch. But I think it was used many, many years ago before the Korean baseball team got so good. Excellent job, that's two Philippines on a roll. Let's go to our next question. All right, on to the next question. But I'm sorry, parents, this question is only for the kids. So hold your horses and let the kids answer the question, okay? Now let me just go ahead and unveil this. All right, here we go. Is that a fruit basket? Um, it, does it look like a fruit basket to you? No. Okay. <laughs> What could it be? Okay, you think if you know the answer for this? Yes. If you pee in your blanket, the uh, children put that in your head and go to the other house and get for money or rice things. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That's right. Very good, very good. So Tommy, once again, can you kind of uh, tell us what was what they did? The kids put it on their head and did what? Okay, well this is actually a tradition. Unfortunately, they don't really do it anymore because it is, oh, well, it, it's very embarrassing. Yes, it is. So what they do is, you know, just to cure any wedding habits in the bed, they, they put this on the boy's head and he would go around, um, not exactly showing it off, but you know, wearing this around in his neighborhood and then people would always make fun of him. And through that, he would learn not to wet his bed anymore at night. I see. The village and the shame system. Boys or girls, I guess, would wear this on their head. Excellent. So we have another question coming up. Okay, last but not least, here's another Korean traditional object that I would like to show you. Right there. Okay, well, if you got a good look at it, I would like to know what the purpose of this object. Okay. Well, it's a decoration in the hair. You put it in the back of your hair, for women, of course. Like this, if you have a lot of hair, and most of the times they wear wigs, and they put it in the back of it. Okay. <laughs> And I thought it was just a fancy chopstick. Okay, very good job. Uh, do you have some more to show us or what's next? Okay, now this next um, game is not actually about, you know, answering the question what the object is about. I just wanted to play a game called Cheggy Taggy, okay? Um, it literally means kicking the Cheggy. So Cheggy Taggy. It's a very, very fun game. And, you know, whoever hits the Cheggy the most will also get some points, 20 points. And just for this game, whoever is the winner will also get this prize, this mask right here. Wow. So coordination is very important, not just coordination of the mind, but the body too, kind of like hacky sack we have in the West. Um, whoever gets the most, like you said, 20 points plus the prize. And um, are we going to have one person from each team? That's right. We're going to have one person representing from each team, okay? So why don't we just go ahead and use the order that we did in 60 seconds, okay? So first, I would like to have the Bangladesh team, okay? Bangladesh. Bangladesh team right here. Okay, oh, and the father will be representing? Yes. Okay, well, why don't we just go ahead and see your, sk your skills in Cheggy Taggy. Just go ahead in the center of the stage. Let's give a big hand. Woo! 
I have to do it because my daughter is wearing flip-flops, so she doesn't want to. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, we all understand that. Wish you the best of luck, okay? One, two, three. Okay, oh, three great. times. Good job, good job. Okay, next. Next, we'll have the Netherlands team. Okay, we'll have also the father representing. Okay. okay thank you. <laughs> I will do my best. Okay. I don't know how good I am, but. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Okay, two okay. times. Two okay. times. <laughs> good job. Good job. Okay, and then the third we'll have uh, the, can the Canada team right here. Okay, who will be representing? Okay, all right, go London. Go ahead. Two. Oh! It was, a, it was a tie with Netherlands, okay. Okay, next we'll have the Pakistan. Okay, all right, we'll have the Sun. Okay, go ahead, good luck. Oh! Okay, last but not least, we have Philippines. Okay, oh, the mother will be, okay. All right. Six. Oh, wow. Wow, I'm so surprised about, talk about skills at Techie Tagi. That was like five, six times. I would never be able to do that. Awesome job, great performance, 20 points for that, and a gift, right? Okay, because her mother did, Yana's mom did so well at Tegi Tegi, she gets the prize of getting this traditional mask right here. I wish it was mine, I wish I had it forever, but oh well, it's Yona's now. So why don't you just go ahead and try it on right now? Ooh, scary. <laughs> nice fit. Congratulations to you in this round. We saw a lot of cool stuff and we had a lot of fun. Hopefully you all had fun and uh, are ready for our next round. Let's go. again for coming back. Thank you to all the people that are participating from different countries. We are in our final round and it's very exciting. We'll see who makes it to the very end. We'll see if my voice makes it to the very end. I'm so excited. I'm losing my voice. So let's go to the scoreboard really quick. See the scores of the countries. Right now we have with 80 points it is Bangladesh. Then with 60 points Canada going down the list from the Netherlands 130 tied in first place then Pakistan with 70 points and finally also tied from first is the Philippines 130 points great job parents great job kids now you can both press your buzzers down when you know the answer we have a lot of facts a lot of categories 10 20 and 30 point questions also a bonus point question I don't know when it's going to come out Whoever gets that right, regardless of score, gets the prize, which is very big. So, the goal is to have more points than any other team. It's hard to work together, but any points that you guys score as parents get added to the kids' total. Kids and parents, you gotta use your chance wisely. There's only one to use. If you don't know the answer, well, it gets lost. Good luck using that. So let's look at our scoreboard. <laughs> All right, the question board, lots of big stuff. Can anybody see the categories? We've got uh, culture, who am I, and uh, global friends. All the global friends tend to be here right now. So thank you for coming again. I just can't say that enough. Let's start with a 10-point question, category 
Sports. The following are national flags of certain countries. These four countries have all hosted this sporting event, and they are shown in the time order of hosting the games. What is this sporting event that started in 18... Yes, we are going to Pakistan. Olympics. The Olympics, is that correct? Yes, it is. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> very excited, and it's a very exciting event. Ten points to you. You get to choose a category, the next category. I'm going to choose a Okay, maybe I'm going, to, um, I'm going to choose culture. Okay, let's go to culture. Nanta is a Korean musical that has created new trends all over the world. It has its own performance hall in Broadway and has captivated spectators from all over the world. There are no spoken lines, but it has plenty of rhythms and beats to excite its spectators. The story takes place here, where everyone is very familiar with. Where is this place? Okay, we're now going to Bangladesh. Your answer? The kitchen. He says the kitchen. Yeah. Very good. I know you're very busy, but um, have you seen Nanta? Yes, of course. And you enjoyed it? Extremely. Um, when you're not doing special events at the embassy or seeing something special like Nanta, what do you do like on the weekends? Oh, you know, Korea is a beautiful country and it has uh, so many beautiful places to look around. And during weekends, I like to spend time with my family. Most of all, I have two daughters. Uh, so all four of us try to get out of the city, go to the different places of Korea. And it is a mountainous country. Yes, right. Uh, we love to go to the mountains. So uh, weekends are uh, a pretty good time that we always look for. Excellent. For yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Well, please choose a category now. You've recommended mountains, now recommend a category. Who am I? Who am I? Perk up your ears, guys. Excellent choice. Now, adults, you got to take a break. This is for kids only. We're 10 points, but guys, perk up your ears for you. Who am I? I can fly, but I am not a plane. I can keep people warm. I am used to make shuttlecocks. Nils flew on my back and went on an adventure. I can fly, but I'm not a plane. Keep people warm. Used to make shuttlecocks. If you've played badminton, you might have seen these things. We're getting closer. Yes, Philippines. Duck. Is it duck? Oh, you can't get much closer. You're about as close as you can possibly get. You cannot get closer. Three seconds again. Three, two, one. You're alive, and if you know the answer, please tell me in five seconds. The judges upstairs wanted the specific answer of goose. Goose. Nils flew on the back of a goose. Canadian goose, who knows? But uh, bird came out, duck came out. I don't know, does that technically? Yeah, we wanted the exact answer of goose. So nice try, guys. Nice try. But uh, once again, can you choose another category? Super Korea. Super Korea happens to be one of my favorites. It's worth 30 points. So if anybody wants to push down their buzzer and use the chance, it can become 60. It doubles the value at any time, but usually it's a 30 point questions where you want to use this. Nobody? Super Korea. Hello, Super Kids. Today, we are going to visit the Korean Folk Village. It's very nice here. These are traditional houses. 
people used to live in houses like these. They may not be sophisticated, but have a coziness to them that you won't find anywhere else. Hey, this place is really fabulous! It used to be the house of a nobleman. The spacious yard and all the decorative items. By looking at this house, you can imagine the lifestyle of a nobleman. Wow, what's all this? There are so many unique looking objects here. This place is called Kongbang and it's where they used to make traditional handcrafts. By looking at some of the objects that are here, you can tell how talented Korean craftsmen were. Now here is your question. In Korea, people used to make everything by hand from tools, clothes to baskets, so there were many types of traditional craft work. Handcrafts using this material became very developed in Korea, and were used in all areas of daily life. Even kids use strips of this tree to make kites. What is this that symbolizes honor and integrity in Asia? Yes, we're going to Canada. Uh, bamboo. Is bamboo right? Yes, it is. So, have you ever made a kite using bamboo? Uh, no, I have not done that. No? no. Well, I heard you, you like to do a lot of stuff um, with your son, including getting hurt? Uh, yeah, well, we didn't get hurt together, but we were hurt at the same time. So, London uh, had jumped off a wall and sprained his ankle, and I was running and I sprained my ankle. So, we have a very famous family picture where we both have our feet up and big casts on our feet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, kind of, uh, kind of sad. Hopefully you don't jump off walls anymore, London. <clears throat> but please choose a category. Oh, uh, global friends. Global friends. Let's see if we're going to go anywhere, because they're all here. This is for the adults. Hello, my name is Patrick. Geneva has always been famous for highly developed manufacturing industry, such as jewelry. This industry was, in particular, was first started in Switzerland in 1587 and has a long history. Renowned for having both advanced technology and beauty, it has made Switzerland a country famous for this. What is this? Yes, Bangladesh. Watches. He says watches. Is that the right answer? Aha. Uh -huh. Very good. Very good. Well, you know what to do? Please choose a category. It's pretty hard to choose a category. I choose a category and my friend takes away the <laughs> points. <laughs> uh, how about food? All right, something delicious. For the adults, again, another adult question. So kids, relax, think about delicious food, but take a listen. It is said that people ate this in China in 3000 BC by mixing snow or ice flakes with honey or fruit juice. In the West, Alexander the Great is said to have fed this made of snow from the Alps mixed with honey, fruit, and milk. Yes, the Netherlands. Ice cream. Is it ice cream? No. No. He's shocked. Do we have some more of the hint? and milk to his soldiers suffering from heat stroke around 400 BC. This was a precursor of ice cream, and today people have this as frozen dessert. What is this? So right now the Netherlands got to wait. The other four countries have an opportunity. Sometimes it helps to push early, sometimes you got to wait. It's a precursor for ice cream. Yes, Canada? Uh, popping soup. Is it popping soup? No, <laughs> kind of the Korean version of this, but no. Netherlands and Canada, give it a shot. Bangladesh, and your answer? It's sherbet. He says sherbet. Sherbet. Sherbet, is that right? 
Yeah. Well, we've now broken the curse. Your friend did not take the points away. Yes. You got it. Congratulations. Yes. Please choose another category. Uh, word. Okay. A 20 point question. Word is the category. Anybody can answer. This word, meaning the golden one in Spanish, is from the legend about a South American tribal chief who covered himself in gold powder. The legend spread to Spanish explorers and came to mean the city of gold. It looks like Canada's uh, pressed. El Dorado. He says El Dorado. Will he get it right or will Bangladesh take it from him? El Dorado. Yes. Didn't the Carpenters sing a song about and sprinkle gold dust on your body and something like that? <laughs> All right, choose the category, please. Uh, character. Okay. This is for the kids only. Adults, good job so far. Kids, good luck to you. We go to the category. When you are talking about an indecisive person who cannot make decisions, you say that person is like Hamlet. You compare an unrealistic or idealistic dreamer to Don Quixote. Now, you call a miserly and stingy person this, who is a character in Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. Who is this? Scorch. Scorch, is it Scorch? Uh, Scorch. Yes, it is. Nice. Excellent job. Okay, now looking at the scoreboard once again, it's a very close game. Nobody's used a chance yet. We can see that uh, Bangladesh, 120 points. Canada, 110, just 10 behind. Then we have Netherlands, 130 in the lead. And Pakistan, 90 points, not too far behind. And again, tied for the lead, 130 points is Philippines. Good job, guys. Once again, chance, anybody can use it once. Let's go to a category. What do you choose? Where. Where. Oh, yeah. It's a bonus question. Woo! I feel like we're on home shopping here. Yes, yeah, so whoever gets this right among the kids gets this. Among the kids, it's a kid's question. Where? So let's go to that question for 30 points. It's located on the southernmost part of Korea, and it is the largest of the volcanic islands. It is famous for its pristine nature, home to some 1,800 species of plants and thousands of wild deer. You might recognize the Dol Harubang. Yes, we go to Canada. Halasan. Is it Halasan? No. Okay, Netherlands. Pektusan. Is it Pektusan? That's a little further north. Yes, Bangladesh. Jeju Island. She says Jeju Island. Is that the right answer? Yes, it is. Okay, ladies. All right, ladies. Thank you. Very excited. Only she gets the bonus prize. You don't. I'm sorry. Um, but with that, not only do you get the bonus prize, but you are in the lead, and you choose the next category. Magic. Magic. For 30 points. Anybody want to use their chance? Yeah, I want a chance. You want a chance? Put it up. Anybody else? Everybody, what? Go for it. Okay, why not? Everybody's going for it. So, uh, this, anybody can answer, that's the good news. It's worth 60 points, 
and there's no way with something so much on the line that I or Tommy could do it ourselves. We need help from our in-house magician. Please give a warm welcome to Mr. Kim Jong Soo. Hello, Isaac. Hello, Super Kids, and hello, Super Adult. <laughs> Well, it's your favorite magician, Kim Jong Soo. Well, also for your viewers and also for our super kids, I do believe everyone has a hobby. And my hobby is collecting coins. Well, it's a small coin, but if I collect enough, I do believe I'll get rich someday. <laughs> so let's try a trick using this coin. Coin, a bottle of water. Watch and enjoy. <laughs> and we'll see that. Take this out. Let's pour. Showing you that there's a coin inside the bottle. Now here is today's question. Now in the motion picture Roman Holiday, the film was Audrey Hepburn's debut film and it also won her an Oscar. Now in the movie, there was a famous line about this place. Now at this place, they say if you throw one coin, that you will return to Rome. If you throw another, they say you will find true love. Now, what is the name of this place? The name of the place where the coin was thrown. Rome at the Fountain of Wishes. Rome at the Fountain of Wishes. Ah. Uh, Trivi Fountain. Is it the Trivi Fountain? Trivi Fountain. Uh, Trivi Fountain? Is it? In if it's right, everybody's used their chance. Oh, yeah! Oh. Very good. Excellent job. Maybe known as the Fountain of Wishes, but we wanted Trivi Fountain. Excellent job. And with that, it is the tie score, 150. Thank you, and thank you for some magic, Kim Jong Soo. Thank you very much. <laughs> We've got some good news and some bad news. Good news is it's a very exciting game. Bad news is that where I'm standing, it's totally wet. Why did you pour it all out? Can we get a mop, please? <sighs> After the show. Okay, so. Excellent. You get to look at our two remaining categories and choose one. I think I'll go for logic. Oh, sorry. Logic. <laughs> yes, your answer is? No, just kidding. <laughs> logic is chosen. Everybody's used their chance. It's a very close game. This is worth 30 points. Let's see who gets it. Of the four people, who was the last to arrive at school? Tommy got to school 30 minutes after Jisoo. Jisoo arrived at school right after Isaac. Yuna arrived after Isaac, but before Tommy. Who was the last to arrive? Yes, sir? Tommy? He says Tommy, 30 points. He has 130. If he's right, he'll be leading 160. Is that the right answer? Good job. Good job. Um, before we go on to our last question, as you can see, it's very, very close. 160, 150. The last one's worth 10 points. We do have tie-breaking questions, but I have a very serious question. Before that, is your father a good cook? No. No? <laughs> well, actually, I am a good cook. 
You are a yeah, good cook? Well, nobody likes my food. I see. <laughs> He's a good cook, but nobody likes his food. All right. So, we know that the last question is about architecture. We know it's worth 10 points. We know it's a close game. What will happen? Nobody knows. Let's go to architecture. This building is located in Agra, India. It is a masterpiece of Islamic architecture and one of the most beautiful buildings in the world. Netherlands. Taj Mahal. The good cook. Is that correct? Yes, it is. Shaking hands. Well, the, uh, thank you. The good cook part cannot be confirmed. We don't want to spread any bad rumors, but it is confirmed that they came from behind and they are our champions today. Excellent job. Excellent job. Victory at the end, the last lap, awesome job. Come from behind. Well, we don't know if the dad, we can't confirm, don't know how well he cooks, but we do know that together, the son and the dad, they're a great team. Congratulations, our winners today. Come on out. Come on out, guys. This is for you. Very good, very good. Now, you guys get the big prize, but for everybody else, we do have gifts for you. Of course, nobody's going home empty-handed. Did you have a good time? Wonderful. Excellent time. Very good. Yeah, I had it. Thank you, man. How are you yeah, feeling? Good time. You had a good time? Yes. Okay, and... Are you happy now? Yes. What do you want your dad to cook for you? Toast. Toast. All right. He, has, he makes good toast? Yes. So you, he is a good cook? I think <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anybody you want to say hi to in TV land? Well, actually, I want to greet all my students if they look. I'm a university, sorry, I'm a teacher in a university, Goodman University. So if they watch, I really want to say, hey, bye, everybody. All right. Well, that's exactly the thing we're going to say to everybody watching. Thank you so much for joining us. And join us again next week for another round of Super Kids. Bye-bye! Bye-bye! Super Kids is giving away some very special prizes. A notebook computer for the first place winner team. Digital camera for all the other teams. And the bonus prize, Child U Online Education One Year Membership. And show us... Apple. Yes. Done. <laughs> what is it? It's a rabbit. Oh. That's right. <laughs>